Welcome back to DowerChin.com. I re recently received a request from someone who actually wanted me to do a comparison side by side between the iPad 2 and the iPad 1 for performance in Sketchbook Pro. Uh, so I'm going to take a stab at it and let's see what it looks like. So I have, here we are, my white iPad 2 and my regular iPad 1. So let's launch the programs. So we can see that the iPad 2 is ready to go. Now I'm going to import a picture uh, from uh, something I found off the web. Um, I'm going to give credit to the artist, uh, so a, a person off of Deviant Art named Tamp Tamp. It had a nice uh, piece of line art which I grabbed. So let's go take a look. See, that's uh, I'll import it in. So for both of them, I'll import from the photo library. And there we go. And uh, this is a fairly large image, about 3,000 pixels by 3,000 pixels or so. So let's see how well they they handle it. So there we go. So the iPad 2 loaded that a little bit faster. All right, so let's take a look. Now the big thing is that um, instead of me drawing something, I'm just going to wind up coloring it because obviously uh, coloring is going to require a bit more performance. So let's take a look. See now, first things first, because line art will have to uh, basically set the layer to multiply so that we can basically color and have this on top of everything. So let's just do this. Bring up the the layers palette here on both these guys, and I'll create a new layer on top of this. Let's see, new layer on top. I'm dragging these two down here. And let's see, I'll change this guy from normal to multiply. Oops, multiply. And then we'll just get rid of that. So, okay. So, it's back here. All right, so now what we'll do is actually I'll make sure that I'm going to work on the right layer now real quick. Just make sure. All right, so I'll make sure I need to work on this layer because I'll be coloring. So I'm going to be using my uh, my box wave pen here, which actually works really well for what I'm going to be doing. So let's choose a weapon of choice here. Let's see. We'll get some. Let's see. It's got a good good skin color color we're going here. We'll choose the brush tool here as well. Uh, kind of we could do a bulk large brush action here, so we can get uh, kind of let me get a decent skin tone here going. I'll use that. That's not too bad, I guess. It's a little too bright. All right, so doing the same on this side. Now I'm gonna make the radius a little bit bigger, so I'm gonna be coloring just a large, broad stroke so far. Just what I want to do is a broad stroke. I got the color to be somewhat similar, a little warmer. So radius size is for 35.68. I'll do something similar here. Uh, yeah, there you go. That's close enough. Okay. So both using this paint, this uh, paintbrush tool here. It does get to work. All right, so there we go. So I'll, let's um, uh, let's just do some coloring. Actually, this is terrible. I can't do. I can't, I can't draw left-handed on my other side here. So this is my iPad 2. So it's really large, broad strokes here, just to get some base color down. Some color. We'll just we'll fix this up a bit. A bit. So that's a good start right there. Do the same thing here. Oops, I do that. Two finger. For the most part, they both seem to work really, really quite well in, in this task anyway. Not a very complex task, we're just filling in color. So not a very noticeable difference in performance wise between the two at this at this stage of the game. 
All right, so now what I'm probably going to do next is, let's see, maybe try adding a little bit of color, or actually I'll actually try erasing, actually. Maybe just clean up a little bit. Or what I can do is like, add a little bit of color now. Let's see what I can do here. A little bit of color activity here. Let's choose a, so let's make this color a little bit darker. Add some tones to it. Maybe, oops, wrong, wrong. Swatch here. Let's add something a little darker here. I'll make the same darker here as well. And let's try using uh, the airbrush tool here. That's a good one there. Same thing here. So they're both at 25 and 0 0.10 for opacity. So let's see how well this works here. So zoom in here, zoom in here, so the same spot here. So it's kind of rough there. So let's do the same thing over here. See if there's any, any different. I'm not sure if you can see it this way that well from at my left at least my left hand over here. Oops. What's going on over here? There you go. Uh, one, one test I want to tell is how well the, the zoom it works and the panning. Definitely a bit smoother on the iPad 2. Although, you know, the iPad 1 isn't really a slacker either in this category. So I think in regard to performance wise, as far as Sketchbook Pro goes, I would say you, you would probably be fine with either one of these. Um, the, 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 I guess the performance gain really isn't all that massive from what I've seen, however. Uh, but obviously, the, the selling point that I've noticed so far, having used the iPad 2, if maybe you can see from this screen uh, uh, video here, is that the vibrance and color and the brightness of the iPad 2 screen is definitely noticeably better than the iPad 1. So when it comes to drawing and the colors being important, I would really think the iPad 2 is the way to go. Uh, Although, you know, if, if you're being cost conscious, cost conscious, the uh, iPad 1 is definitely um, still a good choice to go with as well. So, in general, I'd say either one of these will do just fine. You'll definitely get a better performer out of the iPad 2, um, and you definitely won't be disappointed with the better screen. So, hopefully uh, this was helpful for some, some people. Uh, hopefully the, that uh, you can see that as far as drawing goes with, with uh, Sketchbook Pro, uh, it's definitely a good program. Uh, definitely better with a stylus of some sort, like the um, like the box wave over here. And uh, so, um, if you like this video, please leave a comment uh, and visit my website, dowerchin.com. Thank you.